Hey everyone, it's Rusty Diamonds here, and as you can probably tell from the title of this video, I am actually going to be responding to a video made by Jaredkins today. Two things that I need to clear up. One, yes, I do have permission from Jaredkins to make this video. It is right here. I asked him if it would be okay for me to make a response video explaining the other point of view, and he said, of course, is just tell me when it's done so I can watch it. So, thank you Jaredkins for letting me respond to this video. Um, I really appreciate it. And, of course, I respect your opinion, um, very much, and you, you did bring up some good points here, but, um, there were a lot of flaws, I noticed, with your arguments. Well, another thing I have to mention, I have absolutely nothing against Jared Kins. I actually watch his videos on a pretty regular basis, and I can really praise Jared Kins because he's one of the very, very few Kins tubers who don't use, um, exclusively signatures anymore. Like, almost all the Kins tubers I see everywhere only use signatures. Yes, this is just my opinion. Um, if you disagree with me, that is completely fine. But I do think it is important to listen to both sides of the story. So, yeah. There are so many new webkins as shown on the screen right now that have already been made, for instance. The love draft, we already have a draft. But is the love draft a cool concept for Valentine's Day? Yes. The flutter pig is an awesome, cool concept as well. I agree with you. The love giraffe, um, I don't think people really disliked that one because we already had a giraffe. I think they disliked that one because there aren't, let's be honest, there aren't that many people out there who are huge fans of giraffes. The flutter pig, I can really appreciate. My sister actually has a pet pig and she's the sweetest thing. The flutter pig is a fantastic webkins and honestly, if you don't have a flutter pig, get one. It is the cutest thing ever. I have never really been a big fan of the love giraffe. When I saw it released, I was just like, oh, okay. Oatmeal Karoo, Kangaroo, it's an improvement of the regular Kangaroo. And Actually, nothing is improved from the regular Kangaroo. If you look at the Oatmeal Kangaroo next to, if you look at a picture of the Oatmeal Kangaroo next to a picture of the regular Kangaroo, the only difference you'll be able to find is the slight difference in fur color. At least this is still sort of an attempt but it's not a really good one. I wouldn't exactly call this one a complete remake of the original, though, because at least they gave it a different name and a very different shade of brown, but it's still not one that I'd buy because it's not really any that different from my from the kangaroo I already have. A baby zebra? It just is a baby version of the zebra, which is something different. Just a ze it's just a zebra, basically. They, at least it does look different from the original zebra. I will give them that, but... I don't really think anyone's going to use the baby zebra as an actual baby. People use littlekins for that, so, um, the baby zebra was kind of weird. You just took an animal you already had, changed the design. It was a good change, to be honest, but calling it the baby zebra was a weird choice. Everybody complains about how Gans isn't making new webkins, but they are. Well, they're calling them new, but they're not really ch They're just taking designs that were popular back when webkins first came out and changing them ever so slightly, hoping that people will want to rebuy those designs. Maybe they've made a raccoon or a pup before, but they haven't made this one. Yes, they have. The difference between this raccoon and the raccoon we already have is that the rascally raccoon is a slightly darker color. It's more brown than gray, but it's really not a big enough difference for me to want to pay money for it. As for the pup, the spaniel pup, I'm assuming is what you meant when you mentioned the pup, it kind of just looks like a fatter-faced version of the American Cocker Spaniel, which also was one of the first pets. So with both of those, yes, they're cute, but we already have that big Gans tries so hard to bring out what their millions of fans want. Gans has so many requests. Why don't you guys stop giving requests and actually maybe thank them for once? We have to remember that Gans is a company, and usually the smartest idea for what a company should do if they want to keep their business going is to pay attention to what people want. If Gans wants to keep Webkins going, then what they'll have to do is start making things that people, the consumers, the people paying for their product, wants. It's just not a very smart idea for Gans to be making things that their customers don't want. That's how you go out of business. The company, they should know what to do. I heard the saying, the customer is always right. I've never agreed that that sentence has been, has, has been completely true, but in this sense, it does seem to be true. I mean, everyone just complains nowadays. Why can't you guys just be satisfied? These webkins look really awesome. Actually, the webkins you have on screen at this current moment, I can agree with. 
The long-haired Yorkie wasn't my favorite, but then again, I haven't been a fan of Yorkies in the first place. Bloodhound Pup is really cute. I love the Tuxedo Chihuahua. The Chocolate Milk Cow, love that. The bait, the Sparkly Dolphin thing, love that. All six of the Webkins you have on screen right now are good examples of the new Webkins. I would buy these because they're new and they're unique from other Webkins. I mean, the Chocolate Milk Cow is adorable, but there everybody has to complain about it. I, I agree, they shouldn't complain about the chocolate milk cow. That thing is freaking adorable. Cows are such underrated webkins. Webkins just does such a hard job of making webkins. Actually, I'm pretty sure that they have machines that do most of the work. I haven't been able to find out how it's made on stuffed animals. Everyone's like, can I have this and can I have that? Do you guys ever think of the expense of making a webkin? Mm. I'm going to look that up. And I couldn't find anything. I'm going to estimate somewhere under $15, though. Do you guys ever think of how hard it is? Do you ever think that maybe Gans has tried, but it hasn't worked out, and they knew you guys wouldn't like it? I can kind of understand the idea that maybe they tried and it didn't work out, but when you said, and they knew we wouldn't like it, I don't think that's really anything they're worried about, considering they've been making tons of pets that we haven't liked, and by now, if they were really worried about whether or not we'd like it, they would have stopped. You guys have to stop complaining and actually think. Gans has a lot of different things that they have to work on. That is true, but it does confuse me that they don't focus on Webkins a whole lot, considering Webkins is still one of their most successful products. What are these ice cream scoop thingies? Like, I I've, I've saw them once in a store, and I was like, what is that? Like, in the last few years, I've seen at least three times where they've tried to make some new product that they thought was going to be a big thing, and then I have literally seen no one buy them ever. Uh, like the Zings, and Nakamas, and this new ice cream scoop thing that they started. I have never seen anyone buy any of those. Just try so hard for us. They try and see their requests. If they try to see all the requests, then why aren't they listening to the requests? But... There are too many requests. No matter how many people like a pet, there will always be some few that don't. Yeah, but I still think it's a very sm it's much smarter. If you want to keep your business alive, it is definitely a much smarter idea to make the things that the majority of the people are going to like. Most people would prefer an Australian Shepherd over a pink giraffe. Get it. Of course they're of a Siberian Husky. They Actually, I think the Siberian Husky was a very clever idea. Because that is a very, very cute pet. And I'm surprised it's not more talked about. I, they've already made all the cool webkins, so what are they going to do after? Do I no, 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 no. There's still a lot of cool animals out there that they could make. For instance, they could make different kinds of Australian Shepherds. Yes, there are different kinds of those. They could make uh, an Arctic Wolf would be cool. They could make a Red Husky. They could make a Dingo. These are all animals that I know people would really like. A Stingray. They could make more Googles. They could make... Ah, oh, the list goes on and on them to stop making webkins? Nobody's saying that. We just want them to make webkins that people actually want. Ever complains. Why are there no more signatures? It probably costs like $50 to make one signature sometimes. Actually, I'm really glad that they retired signatures. The big problem with signatures is that most people were saying, why would you retire something that was selling so well? The signatures weren't selling well. They were selling terribly. It's all like, oh, signatures are so expensive because they're retired. Oh really? Then how come I can get a camel webkin signature for super duper cheap? No, they're not expensive because they're retired. They're peop sellers just use that as an excuse. Animals that people wanted. People love timber wolves. People love Siberian huskies. People love arctic foxes. Valuable from that standpoint of the fact that they're webkins that people actually want. A couple signatures sold well, and then the rest of them sold terribly because not many people want a camel. All you guys do is ask, 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 and bug Gans. Hashtag save the sigs needs to stop. Stuff that isn't related to Webkins, like KinsCon. Of course we do. But you guys have so many requests, that's not at their top priorities because you guys have complained so much. KinsCon is not going to happen. Do you have any idea how much it costs to run a convention? But there are just so many different scenarios that doesn't allow Gans to make certain ones. To the expense is the problem. Webkins makes, like, I think it was $20,000 a year from Webkin sales. Plus, all the old ones, they're practically every single animal, and I know- Oh, no, 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 no. 
we are nowhere near every single animal. There's only 1,000 webkins in the world. Let me look up how many mammals are on the world. 5,416 mammal species are known. That doesn't include fish, that doesn't include birds, that doesn't include all the amazing mythical creatures. Who else really wants to see more mythical creature webkins? I freaking love the dragons, but how cool would a griffin or a phoenix be? Oh my gosh. Now everyone's naming the ones that they haven't made. Stingrays. Ever think of the stingray, how expensive it is to make it? Maybe somebody, some people don't like these new pets, but ever think of the stingray, for example, how expensive it would be? A stingray is actually probably a lot cheaper to make than a giraffe. Doesn't take as much fabric, considering stingrays, you can basically cut out like a kind of a weird mushroom shape and then add a really long tail and some eyes to it. That is like the simplest you can get. Maybe making a green googles, that's expensive as well with the stringy fur. Once again, that actually sounds less expensive to make than a cow or remaking a pegasus or whatever. With a google, you cut out two bowling pin shapes and green fabric, sew them together, and then add, uh, add three more oval shapes for the feet and beak. Google would be a lot less expensive to make than a unicorn. Let's look at your guys' opinions. Here we have a comment who's from Anonymous because I blocked out your name. They say the chipmunk. You already made a chipmunk. Just make an Aussie. How many times do we have to ask? Do you ever think that you guys ask too much? Let's look at the comment in question. Yes, they do already have a chipmunk. The <laughs> Someone in your comment section actually brought this up, Jared. Um, people can't afford the really expensive Aussie because they just can't. They just can't afford that. And a lot of people love the way Australian shepherds look. Australian shepherds are beautiful dogs, so I kind of understand why people would want to own one. But you can't really own one if the only one, the only Webkins Aussie that exists, is like three hundred dollars. I wish Webkins would hurry up and make an Australian shepherd. And then they continue to complain after that to make a signature into a regular. Guys, if there's already a signature, you're just asking what you guys don't want them to do. I specifically heard you just ask that you don't want them to make remakes. Wait, 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 wait. You're not even reading the whole comment. The comment is actually contradicting what you're saying. Um... Let's so let's take a look at it here and read the whole comment. I wish Webkins would hurry up and make an Australian Shepherd. Dot 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 dot. And since they already have a blue Merle Sig, they should make a red Merle regular. And this is most likely a chipmunk. Yeah, if they made this, it, I actually think that this is a perfect idea because then we w actually wouldn't be getting a remake of the signature. <laughs> and I actually really hope that if Gads does make an Australian Shepherd, it's a red Merle. And yet you're asking them to make a regular of a signature that you can buy? Plus, if they had to make a remake, they need to make it look different. They can't just have it be identical. That's what this person is suggesting. A chipmunk, probably even though there already is one. The Wilkins lately have not been good. There needs to be more wolves, foxes, and different breeds, like an Australian Shepherd. Or Australian Shepherd Dog, or a Bernice Mountain Dog. They already made these webkins. You're just asking them to remake. There are different breeds of wolves and foxes and dogs that, that Gans could make. Into wolves and foxes that they could make, and I can guarantee that those would sell well. I mean, think about it. What was the what was the last webkins to really, really sell fantastically? Like like sell really well. I'd have to, st I don't know the statistics exactly, but I'd have to say the last time I remember people getting really excited over new webkins was the Winter Mint Husky. That one strongly resembled a fox or a wolf, and it was a dog, so, um... Boy canines. They like canines. Cattle dog would be great. Do you know what those look like? They're so cute. How expensive would wolves, foxes, and different breeds of dogs be? Expensive than the ones they're making now. There has to be a price tag. And when Webkins would overprice it, maybe instead of $15 for a Webkin, they say it's $40. Everyone would complain because it's just a Webkin. Actually, no. Making the Webkins that people are asking for would actually give them more money. Because, yes, it would be just as expensive as making the Webkins they're making now. And also, um, those would sell a lot better. If they made an Australian 
Shepard, I bet you every single Kinstuber would be lining up to grab one. And if that happened, Gans would get more money, and if they got more money, they could make better webkins. There's so many different webkins that are just great, but no one appreciates them. Every single regular out there right now is completely underappreciated. It kind of makes me mad. What do you think in the comments below? And once again, link to the original video in the comments. Go subscribe to Jared Kins. And Jared, thank you so much for letting me make this video. Sorry if I was a bit harsh. I have absolutely nothing against you. I think you are a very good guy, and you did bring up some good points in this video. Thank you for watching. Bye!